Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. This time around, the video is a bit different because we're going to do a discussion about whether it's actually still worthwhile to pull Risa Ebata's Gacha, which has the daily free single pool as well. Uh, we're going to talk about, well, basically now that the other five bars have been added to this gacha or rather that it's focusing on them uh, which is Valkyrie um, you can't really get the previous five divas anymore so let's dive into the gacha page um, and we're going to talk about you know whether these episode plates are still worthwhile and of course as you can see there is the appearance of the guaranteed uh, five star episode plate gacha as well which you have to purchase the special singing stone pack uh, in order to get this ticket but honestly this time round stay away from it because the episode plates uh, presented within this uh, guaranteed 5 star it's not worth at all so yeah definitely stay away from it um, okay so let's do talk about the gacha that's currently here which is focusing on Freya and let's dive into it to take a look at the five episode plates that are present. So we got Freya, Kaname, Mikumo, Arena, and of course Makina, which is the all five members of Valkyrie itself. So let's take a look at the episode plate stats and compare them to the original first five divas that was first introduced into this gacha. So 3610, you know, and of course each of the divas definitely might have a different focus on uh, individual stats. So just pay close attention to that. But overall, total score still the same as always. Um, of course, all of them have life skill support that helps boost high score. And of course, depending on the element that you require, you might want to focus on that specific divas focus gacha. If maybe, for example, you are just hunting for episode plates to improve your collection of episode plates. You know in terms of high score purposes if not well maybe you're just hunting them because they're your favorite divas and they're your wa waifus your your base well there's only one male character so <laughs> and he's gone <laughs> so no attachment to the episode plates so yeah most of them will be like this it's exactly the same so as you can see 3610 life skill support no special notes Alright, Mikumo as well, same thing. Oh, Mikumo actually has a better total score. Wow. Ah, okay, so that's a surprise. Uh, Dana just proved me wrong, but okay. So if Mikumo is the only one to get this treatment, that's kind of bias. Ah. Well, she's the only one to get this treatment, so I guess out of all the 10 divas, Mikumo's is actually better but all right with that said you know all the divas plates actually unlock valkyrie points for the same valkyrie which is the roy fokker edition bf1s so if you guys have not unlocked this yet uh because maybe your luck hasn't been uh, wonderful through the single free pools that they have provided each day hopefully you've been pulling those you know, you might want to spend 300 singing stones every time they focus a different diva to try and obtain any of the uh, episode plates so you can unlock the BF1S. Uh, if you already unlocked it, well, here's my opinion. Stay away from this gacha. <laughs> but if you have yet to unlock it, you might want to wait until Mikumo's focus gacha comes around because it will give you that higher percentage chance of getting Mikumo's episode plate. Uh, because, well, apparently there's biasness when it comes to Mikumo, so she does end up having a higher total score. Uh, but, you know, that's just my opinion, but, you know, you can always just go ahead and pull for your favourite waifu or base focus gacha. So yeah, I am definitely not going to pull this gacha anymore because I've already unlocked the Valkyrie. But what happens if you decide to pull all the free, uh, not say the the discounted three hundred singing stone focus gachas. You, some people might have been doing that because, well, they just want to obtain as many of the divas episode plates as possible because they love Risa and Bata's art. Um, that's a reasoning as well. 
but the other reasoning I can probably think of is because they want the uh, Valkyrie points to unlock episode orbs. So if you guys have the money and the financial uh, stability to support the game, and of course buy Singing Stone Packs, the discounted ones that are currently going on with the Nian Kuji ticket, um, definitely you might want to consider if you can actually afford to do so. You know, you get the tickets and then you get uh, Miki Moto's episode plates as well, hopefully, you know, through the draw of luck. Then of course at the same time you pull Risa and Beta's gacha and of course unlocking episode plates with some luck uh, behind it and of course you gain those episode orbs that you can use to unlock the main costumes, key art one costumes for Macross Crossover Live which you actually need for the missions for Crossover Festival which is what we're currently going through um, which is well kind of biased to those who actually spend money because all these missions require the costumes that have been featured through the event so far. So the next one that we're gonna have is Lane's crossover costume. So that will be four divas with their crossover costumes already and we'll have four different sets of missions. Uh, as you can see, I've not done any of them even though I've already unlocked um, Freya's costume, Nikomo's costume, Ka Kanami's costume. I uh, haven't really gotten the time to do so because uh, we've been grinding the game uh, for its last event. So now that we have a bit of free time before the next event, we can do so. And yeah, so um, the other thing I want to mention was I didn't update the YouTube Facebook page regarding the Mirage Full Combo Challenge uh, ever since you know they have completed like the heart element the blue element uh then of course the yellow element events uh and of course the rainbow one uh, ever since the four different types of uh song elements have been revealed for the missions i have stopped updating because basically the dailies are well since as of yesterday and today the requirements to complete the daily missions are basically to full combo the hardest difficulty that you can master uh, for any element types. So if you have not done the generic missions, which is basically uh, to, co to full combo Zetai, Redo, Nova, Tick, you know, the song from Macross Delta, uh, under any difficulty that you can handle, uh, basically, yeah, you should be doing that now at this point in time that we are taking a break from events. And of course, um, if you can full combo this song, which I highly doubt unless you are a pro music game player because extreme difficulty for this song is at level 25 uh, which is very very difficult to handle <laughs> if I myself can't do it um, so yeah um, I'm probably just going to go for very hard for this generic mission um, but for the daily I probably might go and do an easier song of any element uh, maybe like uh, I saw, do you remember Love? You know, because it has a very low difficulty level for its extreme. So yeah, that's probably an easy way to clear this daily mission. So yeah, guys, um, if you get, haven't been doing all this, you might want to do it because, you know, it does give you the shards for the, you know, um, secret stone pages. So that's very handy to have if you want to have your episode plates made into a Kira Kira version. So yeah, and uh, as of this time, they just updated, well, they added the song uh, as a permanent entry. So let me just take a look, what was the song again? Yeah, here we go. Yep, yeah, so we got Hoshi Kira as a permanent song now. So guys, if you guys uh, have just updated your game just like I did before I started recording this video, uh, you definitely want to go have it added into your roster permanently so you can get those uh, singing stones from completing the difficulty and stuff. So yeah guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Risa and Bata's gacha. Are you still pulling them? Are you still trying to obtain the episode plates of your favourite diva? You know, uh, definitely are you still pulling the single free daily pools as well? Make sure you do so. 
because it's kind of wasted if you don't. Um, and yeah, how, how is your costume collection coming along with this entire Macross crossover live festival that's going on for Uta Macross right now? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, leave a like to this video if you appreciate my opinions on the current uh, Macross crossover live gachas. And of course, uh, maybe it helped you out to decide whether you want to spend your singing stones or not and that kind of stuff and of course share this video to all your friends who are still playing Uta Macross maybe they like to have uh, I would say uh, conservative free to play player mindset I suppose you know because I'm definitely giving you guys opinions in on uh, based on you know those who can't actually spend singing stones and of course you want to focus on what kind of gachas and what kind of episode plays uh, especially when it regards to real life money so yeah that's why i gave you the opinion on stay away from the current great uh, guaranteed five star episode play gacha so definitely definitely stay away from it all right guys that's all i have to say for this time round and hopefully you guys have a lot of luck when it comes to pulling your favorite focus diva gachas and as always i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye